Hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. I need to adjust my volume settings super quick because I forgot to change those back and now we're good to go. Alright, so we are picking up. My thumb is still bandaged for the record. It's still stitched up and I am a slight bit clumsy with it. Um, that said, we'll see how well this goes. Also, my volume is slightly too high for it to be um, comfortable, but we'll do what we can do. Please don't get stuck. Good. Hello, my dancing friend. Okay. In hindsight, trying to adjust the volume on my speakers, well, starting off a boss fight was not well planned. <laughs> Just, uh, for future reference, don't attempt that. It doesn't really work out well. It's not worthwhile. It's not worthwhile at all. Uh, this time I actually am going to fight my way up there, just so I can, in fact, buff on the way up. Now my volume's a little too low. Now it's just right. Not too warm, not too cold. Not too hard, not too soft. The enemies are just the right amount of dead. Alright. Dancer. Let's grab our 11,000 souls. Ah, yes. This is one boss I do struggle on very much. I rolled the wrong direction on that one. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna one-shot me. Well, there's a shock. I knew my health was low, but wow, okay. Not a great start, guys. Not a great start. That's kind of annoying, actually. I mean, I knew my health was low for being at this point in the game, only 20, but low enough to get one shot if I'm grabbed. Ouch. That's kind of painful. So I will, in fact, be using a thingamajig and boosting my health. that's really the only sensible thing to do. Yeah, yeah, I don't really care if you hit me. One ember, please and thank you. Alright, let's not get one shot again. That's not high on my list of priorities. I don't want that in my life. No grabbing. That's not something I want to move in on. That's gonna get me good. That got me good too.
just get all the sip of that real quick. Ow. Another sip, please. And one more cast. There we go. A little bit of magic thrown in gets the job done. That's all we need. I don't remember it getting so foggy the last time I killed the dancer. That's okay. That was a really rough start, though. Trying to adjust the volume. That, that was really stupid in hindsight. Um, and then getting one shot by a grab, which was honestly slightly unexpected. Uh, even still. Rough start, but we got it. And that's what matters. So, now we move on to the next area. Not overly challenging, uh, especially since we have some magic. That said, we're going to be doing the optional boss and the optional area first, because why would I not? It just makes more sense, we'll be able to level up some. I'm going to be starting to focus my health, just throwing that out there, it's kind of something that I want to do. It'll be a very worthwhile investment, basically. So. This way is the optional path. We will be coming back this way shortly. That said, we're not going to go that way right now, because that would be semi-foolish. What we are going to do is we are going to aggro this knight. And as such, I want my binoculars. There we are. Yeah, you can just stand right there like an idiot. That's perfectly acceptable to me. These guys are mean, for the record. They like to hide and buff the knights, and that's unpleasant. How did that sign get up there? It's a nice looking sword. That was actually pretty easy. I'm getting the bonfire. That's priority number one. Peace. Oh, rude dude. Oh, the partial parries. And now we are going to be expecting invasions due to the fact that we are able to be invaded by other players now. It's a good thing. That said, came at a really inopportune moment. I would have liked to actually have a good fight, but you know. Invasions. 
Gotta take them for what they're worth. If I hadn't partial parried him twice in a row, then maybe that would have gone a little differently. My timing was off. It's okay. The point remains we got the bonfire. That's what matters. Um, for the dancer, we can either get her twin blades or we can get something else, I think. I just don't remember what it is. Ah, yes. Soothing sunlight. Or twin blades. Really, it doesn't make sense to go with anything other than the weapon, because I'm not I'm not going to be able to use that at all. Um, but I'm not going to be able to use the weapon either. So, it really it just it doesn't matter too much. Two large titanite, two chunks. Mm, I'll save it. And I'll just level up instead. Very then take. Do I want the health, though, or do I want to start getting more strength? In a way, I kind of want more strength. I don't know. Hard to say. We'll go with the strength. So I saw there is actually a dupe glitch for uh, using soul items infinitely. Uh, it doesn't actually technically duplicate them, it acts as though you're using it in place of an item that you have on your tool belt. Uh, that said, I don't know exactly how it works, I haven't tested it myself, I'm not familiar enough with it to actually perform it for an example, and as such I'm not going to bother messing with it. I might show it off eventually, but meh. Oh, I have an ash. I have a lot of ash, I forgot about that. Those just weren't even words. <laughs> Anything worth purchasing? Dancer armor showed up. Um, Undead Legion armor is stupidly popular in PvP, for the record. Hmm. Eastern Iron Shield. Weapon skill, that's why I'm not using it on my other build. I wish this would parry. I really do. Because that would be a nice little shield to have. Good physical defense. Not a small shield. But, you know, you can't have everything. Uh, Weapon-wise, nothing new. Nothing new. Nothing... Nothing I really care about. Do I have any duplicates I'm willing to sell? I should upgrade that emulation tinder. I should have gotten... Ah, eh, whatever. I'm getting that ring soon. Is that enough to level? I know it was 30-something thousand, but I wasn't paying attention. Wonderful. And I'll worry about that emulation tinder later down the line. Back to the castle we go. And we're gonna go on that side path. Explore a tad bit, get some things and stuff, kill a few obnoxious enemies. You know, everything that's all in a day's work. None of that. I like the way their armor looks, but I believe it's the same as the, um... I believe it's the same as that other armor. There's another set that's very similar. 
that you get from, um... Whatever it's called. Do I want to deal with that guy? Not at the moment. Not with these guys alive. Or rather, this guy alive. I want your hammer, for the record. But yeah, these guys are just a variation of the ones that you saw earlier on in the cathedral. Which is a little unfortunate in all honesty, but... Like, I can see why. That's an important shortcut that I want to get right there. Um... And as much as I want to actually kill these guys... That one actually circles around. Interesting. That's the case. The last thing I want is to aggro both at once. Those guys really are just not worth fighting nine times out of ten. I mean, yeah, you get some decent drops from them, but they respawn and it's just kind of a pain to deal with. So the point of coming up here is because this actually will bring us... Wrong side. Mm -hmm. This actually bring us over here. And over here, if we go in here, up the stairs, uh, after dealing with all these little annoying pests, we will have a fine shortcut for ourselves. Take that scale. Yeah, as you can see, these guys get buffed considerably by those guys. Most annoying thing is these guys can actually heal each other. You have a pretty nice looking sword though. I will definitely say that. I don't know if you can get it as a drop. That's something that I have not yet tested. I hope so. I do really hope so. So now this is going to be that door we passed as we were coming down to that main lower section. Ta-da. So it's a nice easy shortcut. And really we could just speedrun strats ourselves all the way up to that boss and we very well might. Because there's nothing terribly important on the way. Like there really isn't. And this mace will deal significantly better damage to the boss than a magic weapon would. This boss is, uh, he's magic-y. And this is another drop-off shortcut that we've got. Let's just go around, get the dragon scale ring, deal with the guy who buffs these enemies here. And this is where we can speedrun strats into the boss. Uh, let us skip a fair bit of that area. There is some loot over there I'll end up going back for later on, but in the meantime, not worth. Killing these guys doesn't net you anything special. I will use this just to be safe, just in case I have a difficult time with the boss, but I feel like I should be okay. 
That said, getting into the boss. Whoa! That didn't work well. <laughs> That's actually the first time I've tried to speedrun strats my way in, and they caught me. That's, uh... That's a bit unfortunate, but it was bound to happen eventually. There's my path out. Got a little distracted. Okay, let's make attempt number two. I only dropped 7,000 souls, so I might not even bother picking them back up, to be perfectly honest. I didn't raise the bridge back up. So that will be a problem. If the little guys decide to follow me in, which they did not, thankfully. Alright, let's speedrun strats proper this time. Also, by that first one, uh, I do have to go back, because if I'm remembering correctly, there's a Titanite slab. I might not be uh, remembering correct, but I have a vague memory of that. See, that's how you do it. Now, this boss right here is kind of ugly, but really, he's a very easy boss. I didn't struggle with him in any way the first time. And you just back off on that. Still hit his tail. And stage two. Ow. Again, ow. 
Rude dude. See, if I had a slightly better shield, this would be a lot easier. This boss likes to get stuck on stuff a lot, though. And jump around a lot. As you guys can see. But really, stamina management is kind of key with this one. As you can see, fairly magic resistant. And you want to stay close to him or else stuff like that happens. That's really... that's gonna get me. Ooh! Didn't hold my shield up right then. And then we have this... issue. Because that totally should be a thing with any boss fight, right? Really? I could have done this from the beginning, and it would have worked just fine, but... Actually fighting the boss... Technically not from the beginning, but from its second stage starting. Looks like I'm out. We'll just magic our way through the rest of it. That face shot got him pretty decent. Staggered him too. Now, dragons of course are weak to lightning, so if you were a cleric or something, and you had lightning miracles and whatnot, then you can imagine how well that strat right there would work. You literally run over here, bait a charge on him, and then run around the corner. It's really kind of stupidly easy. Like, you can cheese that boss so, so easily. You get a fair number of souls for it, too. And it leads you to a secret area. Plus, his soul is really nice to have. Like, his soul is extremely useful. For a mage, specifically. Alright guys, ready to go to Firelink? Snake Man. Path of the Dragon. Never noticed all the tablets with the writing on them. Lies and slander. I like it. Not a mimic out of ten. This is a hidden path right here, for the record. Like, that one's actually legit. Let there be bonfire. Ah, the untended graves. The dark fire link. Full of unpleasantness and mean things. And crystal lizards. Two giant 
lizard behemoths. But we'll get to that all next time. We're going to head back to Firelink, do some business there using that soul and using uh, some souls to level. That's the plan. I'm just not sure what I want to use his soul to buy, in all honesty. Reason being, why Dragon Breath or Moonlight Greatsword? It's really a tough call. Um, why Dragon Breath, as nice as it would be, does require 50 intelligence, and that is quite a bit. That is definitely quite a bit. A little higher than I had expected or planned on going. And Moonlight Greatsword is just Moonlight Greatsword, so, I mean... Really, it should be a very clear decision. I have three of these things. Where's their... There we are. Cool. Oh, I did go back and free her, by the way. Uh, yeah. Um, so I can give her pyromancies. Ooh, another pyromancy. I gave her one already, I forgot. And one that resonates with the dog. Yes. Well suited to me. I may be a heretical sorcerer, but you bring me nothing but pyromancies. Fiendish little lad, you. <laughs> oh, is this a divine tome? What on earth are you think I wouldn't be near a divine tome? Or any. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, what on earth I would. And casters of miracles are short, so you don't talk. Yeah. So I can use Affinity, I can use Dark Edge. We got Blackfire Orb, I can't use that, don't have the faith. Um, Black Flame I will not be able to use either, but importantly, Undead Report uh, temporarily charms, ally, charms enemies, makes them your ally for a time. It's kind of a really good thing. Great for trolling. Dark Edge though, that's something I did want to buy. And I suppose we'll buy Affinity as well just to have it. I do want to try out Dark Edge. Oh yeah, I forgot I sent him out. Alright, now let's look at reinforcement. I can in fact use this now. So that's something I am definitely considering switching over to just to try. I have four chunks. So... Sure. Why not? Um. Other than that, was there anything I was in the middle of upgrading aside from this right here? Ah, yes. The Dark Sword. Claymore, I'm not going to bother with. Sword of Judgment, that's another one I need Titanite scales for. Moonlight Greatsword's taking priority over that, though. Without a doubt. Like, that should be an understandable thing. Butcher's Knife, that's another one. And the Emulation Tinder that I need Twinkling for. So I need large shards, I need a lot of large shards, I need chunks, and I need scales. And Twinkling. I need a lot of stuff, basically. Hello friend, anything new to say? Nothing new to sell. Nothing new to say. That's fair. Alright. So, I am just a tad short of being able to level, so this should get the job done. I do have an Estus Shard that I need to give to Andre. I do remember it. I just saw it, actually, so that's why I remember. Let's see. Alrighty then. And where are you? Level me. Alrighty then, guys. So that sums up that. Did decently for my thumb being bandaged up still and all stitched up, but hey. That's good enough for me. Can't ask for more than that. Anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed this episode, and I will see you all next time.